George, great round today. You've got to be pleased with that. Yeah, very happy. I'm uh, happy with my game and uh, happy with the way the round turned out today. But obviously, two more days to go. Conditions today look to be slightly trickier than yesterday. What was it like out there? Yeah, I definitely thought it was playing a little more difficult today. But um, I think if you keep the ball and play nicely, you need a lot of greens and give yourself a lot of opportunity to have some birdies out there. Overall, the state of your game, happy with pretty much everything at the moment? Yeah, I, I, I feel like my game's kind of getting to where I want it to. Taking a couple of weeks off after this, so it's, it's good to peak by, by the time I'm taking my rest. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, there's not too much worries on the course, just playing on my game and focusing on the things that I'm working on. You mentioned taking a bit of time off, that might not be possible, uh, depending on how it goes here. Is, is that in the back of your mind as well, Augusta? Yeah, obviously, that's uh, kind of the only thing really playing, I'm playing for this week, but um, there's only one spot for that, so there's not too much pressure because uh, any other spot doesn't really matter. The way that it's set up though for that, I mean, does it put pressure on you? I mean, you obviously want to be there. Yeah. Is, is it an added bonus or is it something you're really going for? No, it's hard to say, but I'm trying to just kind of stick to the things that I've been doing the last couple of weeks, which have worked for me over the last couple of weeks and months. And um, it, it's starting to show a bit better on the golf course. My scoring is, is pretty good. I feel very comfortable. And I try not to, not to think about all the benefits of playing well and just trying to play well. Talk to us about some of the work that you've been doing off the course as well, changing coach, coaching staff. It's obviously working. Yeah, I'm very, very comfortable with the way things are going. I'm, uh, I'm starting to understand my swing a bit better. So if I hit a bad shot, I know what to, to focus on immediately, the shot after that. And I, I guess that's kind of what everybody's aiming for, is to, to learn quickly and not uh, take a whole round to, to figure out what went wrong. Is it a case of preparing better or just being happier with your game where you are at the moment? I think it's preparing and understanding. It's uh, I'm happy if I, if I understand and I'm well prepared, but uh, I think it's just understanding your golf swing a bit better and the way your body works. Heading into the next two rounds, a change of venue. Um, how does the game plan change for that? I don't know. Apparently, the golf course has changed a little bit uh, with all the rain that they've had, but um, I know I quite enjoy the other golf course, the old original setup, but uh, hopefully it's not changed too much and it still kind of plays into my hands. You mentioned the wet and the rain. How much is tomorrow and Sunday a case of luck, um, depending on how you know the ball lies, you know, mud balls, and that sort of stuff? Is it, is it a bit, you know, a case of luck? Yeah, I guess if you hit every fairway, you'll be able to clean it and place it. But uh, yeah, you need a couple of good breaks on uh, when you hit it in the rough. But uh, yeah, I think there'd, there'd be a bit of luck involved, but also understanding kind of the, the mud ball theories and uh, how the ball's going to come out and how far it'll go. A couple of guys closed the gap a little bit on uh, on the leaders today. Do you think that um, maybe it's set up nicely for uh, a couple of low ones over the weekend? No, I, I definitely don't think that you can go around and just pull your way out from here. But um, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. I'm sure there'll be a lot of leaders in the next two days.